Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Sky News under the main headline of Roman Abramovich and Ukrainian peace negotiators, suffered. Symptoms of suspected chemical weapons poisoning, after talks. Summary of headline article. Sanctioned Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich and Ukrainian peace negotiators have been victims of a suspected poisoning, reportedly using chemical weapons. The Guardian's Sean Walker said Mr. Abramovich lost his sight for several hours and had to be treated in Turkey. Mr. Abramovich has reportedly traveled between Moscow and Kyiv during the several rounds of negotiations amid the war. The Kremlin also previously confirmed that Mr. Abramovich played an early role in the peace talks with Ukraine. It was not known if Mr. Abramovich was aboard the yacht or if it was moved to Turkey to avoid sanctions. From the Guardian under the main headline of violence instead of words. Will Smith condemned for hitting Chris Rock at the Oscars. Summary of headline article. Author Bernadine Evaristo is among the public figures to have condemned Will Smith for hitting Chris Rock at the Oscars. Saying the actor, resorted to violence instead of utilizing the power of words. In what quickly became the bombshell moment of the ceremony. Smith struck Rock in the face after the comic made a joke about Smith's wife. Jada Pinkett Smith. Only the fifth black man in nearly 100 years to win an Oscar for male lead. And the first in 16 years. Resorts to violence instead of utilizing the power of words to slay Chris Rock. Assault is never the answer. Tweeted actor Sophia Bush. Pick.twitter.com slash Yavicr2kn60. Jarrett Weaselman. At Jarrett says. March 28, 2022 U.S. Congresswoman Ayana Presley, who has also been open about stigma faced with alopecia, tweeted and deleted a defense of Smith. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Vladimir Putin's defeat is just a question of time, says Zelensky. Summary of headline article. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said it was just a question of time, before Vladimir. Putin's invasion fails after the Kremlin appeared to have ditched its initial military strategy to capture the country. Speaking to The Economist, Mr. Zelensky stressed his country still believed in victory. In London, Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi accused Mr. Putin's forces of carrying out war crimes. Mr. Putin's troops have achieved no significant change in the past 24 hours in seizing territory in Ukraine, British defense chief said early today. Russian troops have taken some ground, though, in the Mariupol area where they have been besieging the city for weeks, with reports that this is leaving some civilians to starve to death. From iNews under the main headline of Laura Kuntzberg to succeed Andrew Marr as presenter of BBC's Sunday Politics Show. Summary of headline article. Outgoing BBC political editor Laura Kuntzberg is to take over the prestigious Sunday morning politics slot. It has been announced. She will replace Sophie Rayworth from September who is currently filling the slot left by Andrew Marr after he departed the corporation for LBC Radio at the end of 2021. Bosses say the show will see a full relaunch, with a new set alongside the 45-year-old presenter. Ms. Kuntzberg is leaving her current role as political editor after seven years, with her last assignment to be covering the local elections in May. It is not yet known who will replace her in the state broadcaster's top political job. From iNews under the main headline of P&O Ferry's boss warned to reverse mass sackings before 
Ministers change the law anyway. Summary of headline article. The boss of P&O Ferries has been warned the government intends to block the sacking of hundreds of members and staff and force the company to pay employees the national living wage. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps wrote to Chief Executive Peter Hebblethwaite, giving him one further opportunity to offer staff their jobs back. He set out plans to bring forward a package of measures designed to block P&O Ferries' plan to replace 800 seafarers with agency workers paid below the UK's minimum wage. And Mr. Hebblethwaite, whose basic annual salary is £325,000, told MPs last week that agency staff were paid on average £5.50 per hour. The minister said that, given the government intends to block such actions in law, the company will eventually be left with little choice. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Boy. 2. Seriously injured by dogs in horror attack as he's rush him to hospital. Summary of headline article. A two-year-old boy has been rushed to hospital in a critical condition after being attacked by a number of dogs at home. In Egdon, Worcestershire boy. 2. Seriously injured by dogs in horror attack as family rush him to hospital a two-year-old boy has been left seriously injured after being attacked by a number of dogs at home. Officers responded to reports of an injured child in Egdon, Worcestershire where the toddler was seriously injured. His family had begun moving him to hospital themselves, but stopped on the way. From there, the young boy was transported to Worcestershire Royal Hospital by ambulance where he remains in a critical condition. We do not believe the dogs to be breeds banned under the Dangerous Dogs Act 1991. From BBC under the main headline of Insulate Britain. School run mum admits dangerous driving near M25. Summary of headline article. The footage shows a woman telling the protesters they must move out of the way now, and adding. My son needs to go to school and I need to go to work. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of what King William's reign will be like as he rips up. Rule book for Cambridge Way. Summary of headline article. It has been adopted by the Queen for much of her reign. But William could be ready to ditch this when he becomes king. In future, they will rip up the rule book and do things the Cambridge way. And with less staff. This means that William and Kate will reportedly focus on fewer causes rather than spread themselves too thinly. Slimmed down monarchy image. AFP via Getty Images. AFP via Getty Images. Since his birth almost 40 years ago, it has always been William's destiny to be a future king. He also reportedly plans to give people greater access to the royal palaces when he becomes king. From BBC under the main headline of energy strategy delayed amid treasury concerns over costs. Summary of headline article. The PM's official spokesman confirmed the further delay to the strategy on Monday. But said it was a significant piece of work. Adding. It is right we take the right amount of time to do it. From Huff Post under the main headline of Pretty Patel launches investigation into Cressida Dix. Resignation. Summary of headline article. Pretty Patel and Cressida Dick Simon Dawson via Getty Images an official probe into how Cressida Dick was ousted from her role as Britain's top police officer was announced today. Home Secretary Pretty Patel is understood to be unhappy with the way the Mayor of London Sadiq Khan handled the Met Commissioner's departure. But a City Hall source hit back accusing the Home Secretary of wasting taxpayers' money and ordering a politically motivated inquiry. Advertisement The investigation will be conducted by the former Chief Inspector of Constabulary Sir 
Tom Windsor. In a written statement to the Commons on Monday, Patel said Deputy Commissioner Sir Stephen House would temporarily cover as head of the force until the next commissioner is appointed. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.